Hey, welcome back to Crash Country Cooking. I'm Ben, and today we're gonna go over my first six months with this $180 grill. So, got this on clearance, $180. Normally it's $400, it's definitely not worth the $400. It's, it's thin. Once it gets under 40 degrees, this has a hard time keeping up with the temperature. Uh, you can set it at 250 degrees, it'll, it'll stay about that but you get this thing anywhere 275, it'll never reach it. And that's because it's, it's cheap, it's thin, the controller's probably not that good. Um, like I said, it's, I mean, it's just super thin. I haven't done a brisket on it. I've cooked plenty of pulled pork on it. It does a very good job at that. It uses a decent amount of pellets because it's so thin. I keep it in a garage, so I haven't had any rust issues with it. The controller, I noticed, I can't remember if it did it right off the bat, but I noticed that I have to use the app to shut it off. I can turn it on, no problem. Just hit the button. Just hit the button and it turns right on. I have no problem with that, but can't shut it off. Use the app. It takes forever to load, but it does work. And then, uh, Now it loads, you... There, now it's off. But like I said, the controller doesn't work up here to turn it off. It is flimsy. That's just from pushing it out. I have the cement in the garage and I have blacktop outside. And I still have this issue. The temperature probes are actually pretty pretty close. I was uh, impressed with that. It being a cheaper unit, usually they're way off. I've had, I have Green Mountain and that, that thing's way, way off. The, this whole gimmick thing does not, I cannot get this thing to sear food at all. It's, and I don't expect it out of a pellet smoker. I think it should just be a low temperature, 250 degrees, 275 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, do an overnight at 200, 225. I will say, this thing does put out a good amount of smoke though. I can't complain about it. I've used the crap out of this thing and like I said, it's really good for the price. Under 200, if you can get this for under 200 bucks, that's the way to do it. This does work pretty good. I know you can't really, s that works excellent. The smoke setting does work really good. It does fluctuate a lot, um, but you're gonna have that because what they do is they ramp it up, get it hot, then they let it, then they let it smolder a little bit, hit the fan and let it smoke. That's how they're getting their super smoke modes and stuff like that. Some of the other issues, these are as tight, can't tighten these up anymore. I tighten them up and they loosen right back up. Uh, I'm afraid to put a thread locker on there because what's actually happening this is actually pulling in. I uh, can't really see it here, but every time I tighten these, it's just dimpling the metal and pulling it together. This thing's pretty nasty inside. I always use a pan on the bottom. I've been smoking on the top rack. Just seems to work better that way. These get pellet grills. I've noticed with almost all of them. This gets super hot because the heat's right underneath there, especially with the sear grate. Uh, and it tends to want to burn the food, so you either you got to do it fat side down and uh, use the lower rack, and you just got to keep an eye on it because it, it'll burn. If the rub's got a lot of sugar in it, it'll burn. It'll get stuck right to the grates. The so the best way I found, I get a half pan with water, put it underneath, and I push it all the way to the back because the smoke tends to want to come up to the back here. It's hard to see. The smoke tends to want to come up through the back and just go right out those louvers. So I put a water pan, push it all the way to the back just to help try to push some of the smoke through the front. If you put this rack on its top spot, first off, the back one is really hard to get to. When it's on the top rack too, you, I mean, you're you're gonna be able to put some hot dogs up there, but that's about it. I mean, see, it's it's too tight. It doesn't really have three rows like they say. Second shelf does work, but it's thin. 
see. But under 200 bucks, can't really expect much. I do think it's funny, they made the lid really thick. It feels like it's worth more money because they made the lid extra heavy and thick, but there's gaps all the way around it. You're gonna have it, it's, it is what it is. I mean, you can't, the side shelf, you can't really put much on because it, it, it will, it just flexes right out of the way. The pellets, the feed is in this corner and it will, you'll come out here, you'll come out here and this thing will be almost down to the auger and full to the top over here. You constantly gotta be checking on it to push on this. I've done a couple overnights. I put this on for 30 hours and had no issues with it. It never shut off, it just kept running. Be interested to see what it does over the summertime when it gets hot out. Usually these things have a problem. <clears throat> I say these things. So I don't know what the summer months would bring with this. I know, like I said, over the winter time, I had a hard time keeping temperature. Uh, over the summer months, pellet grills usually have a problem if you run them too low, like 180 degrees. Um, I haven't tried any of the new Traegers yet. Uh, I have a new Green Mountain that has issues. My older Traeger has issues. My Pit Boss has issues. Um, so I'm expecting this one to have issues too. Summertime, it gets hot, okay? Say it's 90 degrees out. You have this thing set at like 180 degrees to do like an overnight cook. It has a hard time staying lit. Like I said, that's on the other grills. I haven't tried this one out, but pellet grills seem to have that issue. The newer controllers seem to be better. So we just had an ice storm. It's Easter. Uh, I was out of power for three or four days, so I'm not cooking anything. I figured I had some time. I'd do a review, the six month update on this. I did it in October. It's right before Easter, so it's close to six months. All right, so that's our video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos. We got more videos coming out every week. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, of course, YouTube. Go to crackscountrycooking.com. I got affiliate links, how to barbecue right. Uh, help support my channel. Let me know if you guys like these review videos or if you just want me to do more cooking videos. I like doing the review videos because it's fun playing with the new equipment, but it's very expensive and it's hard to convince the wife. So, see what we cook next time. See ya.